What's going on today guys and welcome to Eddie Studios. If you haven't been here before, I do weekly videos with tips and tricks to help you be a better videographer and I like to do it on a budget. So when US Key Vision told me they had a couple of great vlogging kits for mobile or even possibly for using on a mirrorless or DSLR camera, I jumped on it and I wanted to review these. So they sent me two of them and I'm gonna review one of them today. And then next week I'll have the video for the other one. So let's talk about the Flex K4 kit today. And I'm gonna open it up and I'll show you each thing as we get it out, but let's just get right into it. This one's kind of unique. It, the light has the microphone built onto it. I'm interested to see how this mic light kit setup is and how well the mic sounds and how uh, well the light works for what we needed to do. So we're gonna open it up and check this out, guys. For, so first things first, whenever US Key Vision makes a kit, they always have these cool bo boxes to keep them in. Some people don't like these boxes, but I think they're handy and they help me keep my stuff organized. So I always like when they give me these boxes. And let's see how it's presented in the box. So I'm gonna zip it. What's here? Some ASMR um, zipper sounds. Oh, it's presented nicely. So we've got our flexible tripod. Now this looks super high end for sure. So what's gonna matter is how well this flexible tripod holds up, which it looks nice. Um, Everybody that follows my channel knows that I do like the Ulanzi Octopus tripod, the MT33. That one I use all the time. We'll see if this uh, might overcome it. Let's pull this out and put it together, guys. In the kit, we have all the cords you'll ever need. Always that GoPro mount, like just in case you have an action camera. Not just GoPro, but most action cameras mount that way. Instructions. I don't use instructions. We'll check it out. We might need the instructions, but I doubt it. So it has the ball head mount separate from the flexible tripod. So here's your flexible tripod here. Ball head mount here. Looks pretty nice. We will put it on the mount and check it out. This top looks familiar from a different product that I've used of theirs. It's designed to be able to hold your phone or be able to hold a camera. So how it's on here, it's just kind of like stationary. If you're going to hold a phone with it, you would unscrew it. You would screw it in like this, pop open the mounts, and put your phone in it with the mounts. We'll do that in a second, but I want to see how it sits for a camera real quick and how it supports a camera. Now, I have a pretty hefty one, so the one that's lighter weight that I would more likely use with something like this is what I'm filming on right now, the Sony ZV-E10 I'm filming this on. But I do have kind of a rigged out uh, Sony A6600. This is hefty with the rig, so we'll see how it holds it. Um, it might not be supportive. All right, I'm going to turn it sideways and just see if it supports. So it's not losing this camera. This is the important thing, that it supports the camera. The ball head doesn't give out, and and the legs aren't bending while it's sideways. Now, if I hold the bottom, it probably will slightly bend. Not the best vlogging camera rigged out like this because it's a little hefty. And we'll hook my phone up to it. All right, so let's pull the light and microphone out and... Here is that, so I have it turned on right now. And basically there's two buttons on the side of this. There's two buttons on the side of this, a USB-C charging port and your microphone out jack. One thing I'm reading about this that I don't necessarily like so much is the fact that the light has to be on for the microphone to work. That's a little obnoxious. If I'm recording during the day outside, why do I need the light on? I wish that the microphone work independently, but we'll test it out. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe I can just dim down the light quite a bit and not worry about it. Let's talk about the light real quick. It's kind of got a couple of cool features. So it's pretty simple. Your top button of the two turns it on, press and hold. And then there's a little indicator light. When the indicator light's red, it changes the temperature of the light when you push the button. Now you tap the top button, which is your power button, and it changes from red to like a blue or white. And when you do that, it's the brightness within that temperature. So you have three temperatures, like a warm, a medium, and a cool, and then you have three brightness levels, but you can also hold the bottom button when you're in brightness setting to uh, lower the brightness, and it kind of manually lowers it slowly. So you have like three tap brightnesses, but then you do have kind of a manual like where you can really fluctuate it by just pushing and holding. And let me see, you might be able to do that with the temperature as well. So let's go temperature and we'll go, let's go as cool as it gets. And if I push and hold, let's see what happens. 
it kind of does the same thing. So it does have three settings per. So it has three brightnesses and three temperatures, but you can push and hold to get it to kind of slowly go through those to kind of get a more precise br brightness or precise temperature that you like. So pretty cool. I like the light. The light's neat. Um, very lightweight. Let's see how the microphone sounds. Here is what it looks like rigged up to my phone. Very lightweight. And like I said, having the light and microphone set up be pretty lightweight's nice. We're going to see how this sounds though. And I'm not going to know till we do some recording and navigate it. But let's go out and do some little quick vlogging. Um, we'll do some inside so we can see how this light's working for us. And then I'll go take a walk in the park and we'll just talk. I'll talk to you guys through my phone. So I'm gonna go through the brightnesses real quick. Just, so that's very dim, medium, bright. And it's how my phone's also adjusting to it because it is all auto right now. Let's go through some colors. Let's see what my phone does. So where I'm in the warmest, I think. Nope, that's the warmest. Is it obviously warmer on my phone? It looks obviously warmer. Oh, my phone adjusted. You can see it. The Calvin adjust on my phone. And now it's way too blue. So this is the uh, the coolest. I'm going to slowly go through it. Do the like slow movement. Looks like I'm getting tanned. Ah, right, it blinks when you get to the end. My real check here is, one, this is nice because it's very lightweight. So like the flexible tripod which i'll show i brought my osmo pocket 2 along so i will show like kind of what it looks like with me holding this thing while i'm vlogging a little bit here but um the flexible tripod itself is lighter than my other one so convenience and being able to vlog with a lightweight piece of equipment and everybody that vlogs knows how important it is to be able to carry and hold your camera out for long periods of time so if you're a phone vlogger this is awesome. It's more how the microphone sounds. And something I'm a little concerned about is also that this microphone did not come with any kind of a muff like or a windsock. So I'm, as I'm walking around the park, we'll find out, and I got my windows open in my car here, let me shut them. As I'm walking around the park, we'll find out if the wind is pretty rough on this, cam on this microphone or not. It's something you wanna find out if you're gonna be vlogging outside with this. So I wanted to change the orientation real quick and see how it is with a vertical video. And um, I like how it holds with a vertical video. I did change how it's on the setup. So let me pull out my Pocket 2 real quick and I will show you that. So I switched the orientation of the camera itself. Instead of using that hole, I'm using the hole that's on the bottom of the clip. And it gives me kind of a tighter grip to my hand and kind of just makes it all tighter all together. But I'm going to switch the orientation back and just kind of, I'm gonna walk in and deliver some coffee real quick. Deliver my coffee and snag in a smoothie because they do both here. So they sell my coffee that I roast and then they make smoothies and juices and they got a great menu. And it's where my coffee shop used to be. So of course I'm gonna give them business. All right, so I'm down by the lake here in my town, and there's a lot of noise around me, so it's a little windy. So how's the wind sound? We don't know how the wind sounds. We will find out when I get back and I check out this footage. Nice spot. But I decided to go here because there would be more sounds in our way. Sorry, my phone's exposure sucks on the selfie camera. Um, when I face the sun, though, we're okay. So, um, yeah. I just figured we'd give it one more shot and see how we're liking it in this environment. So this is in an environment where there's wind, there's background sounds, a lot of sun, not using the light at all, just using the microphone. And what do you guys think? Let's get back to the studio and we'll talk about it. So what do you think? You think it's worth it? Did the sound quality, was it all there? It's definitely functional worth it, I think. If you think the sound quality was all there, check the description below and go check out the link and see if it's something you might want to purchase to give yourself a full vlogging kit setup. And don't forget to hit the like button if you appreciate my review on this product. Subscribe to the channel to see more stuff like this and to learn how to shoot better videography using a phone or other budget videography gear. 
And until next week, check out my full playlist on how to edit video using your smartphone with my favorite video editing app, Power Director, right there, guys. And go shoot something awesome. Pick up a vlogging kit if you need one. Peace out, guys. Don't forget to post your work. See you next week with another video.